Hello lovelies, in this video we're going to be looking at nanoparticles for your GCSE chemistry. We're going to be looking at what they are, why are they different to normal particles and the things that you can be used for. Commonly you're going to get this in a six mark question or an advantages disadvantages type of question. Nanoparticles might be a term you've not come across before, so it's worth trying to get an idea in your head of just how small nano is. Nanoparticles, nanostructures, are between 1 nanometer and 100 nanometers in size. So here we have 1 centimeter. In that, I hope you know, we have 10 millimeters. These are the divisions you should be able to actually see on your ruler. In that same space, we have 10,000 micrometers. And in that same one centimeter, in that same 10 millimeters, we have 10 million nanometers. So if we're talking about structures that are one to 100 nanometers in size, they are very, very small. If you look at that one centimeter, and in try to envision 10 million nanometers being in there. It is incredibly small. You need to know how to calculate volumes for this. Using this cube here, this large cube that you can see and broken down into smaller cubes, we're gonna assume that each side of a smaller cube is two centimeters in length, and then we're going to use that for our calculations. The large cube is three of the smaller cubes high. Each small cube is two centimetres. So the width is six centimetres. The depth is six centimetres. And the height is six centimetres as well. Our volume is width times depth times height. So six times six times six. Giving us 216 centimetres cubed. If we now look at one of the smaller cubes, the width is two centimetres, the depth is two centimetres, and the height is two centimetres. Two times two times two gives us an overall volume of eight centimetres cubed. However, there are more small cubes than there are big cubes. There are 27 small cubes for every one big cube. So if we do 27 times eight, we get to 216 showing that all of the small cubes together have the same volume as one big cube. Following on from that, we need to know surface error calculations as well. Just to remind ourselves, the large cube had a volume of 216 centimetres cubed. The small cube had a volume of 8 centimetres cubed. And when we think about a cube, if we lay it out flat, you can see that one cube actually has six faces each. And we need to use that and remember that in our calculations. The large cube, a single face, is going to be 6 times 6, that's 36 centimetres squared. But we have six faces, so 6 times 36 will give us 216 centimetres squared. One single face of a small cube is 2 times 2, that is 4 centimetres squared. And remember, we have six faces, so six times four is 24 centimetres squared. If we look at the surface area of all 27 cubes, we can see that 27 times 24 gives us 648 centimetres squared as the total surface area for all of the 27 small cubes together. So from this, we can say that the smaller cubes have a larger surface area for the same volume compared to the larger cube. We can now start to tie these two bits of information together and look at the surface area to volume ratio, which is one of the key things that gives nanoparticles its unique properties. The large cube had a volume of 216 centimetres cubed and a surface area of 216 centimetres squared. The smaller cube, all of the smaller cubes together, had a volume of 216 centimetres cubed and a surface area of 648 centimetres squared. One individual small cube had a volume of 8 centimetres cubed and a surface area of 24 centimetres squared. 
Now for the large cube, you can see the volume in the surface area is the same. They're in a one-to-one -one ratio. If we divide the surface area by the volume to get the ratio, that is one. For all of the small cubes, we can do 648 divided by 216 to get the surface area to volume ratio, and that is three. It is the same for one small cube because it's just scaled down. 24 divided by eight gives us three as a surface area to volume ratio. As the size of the cubes decreases, the surface area to volume ratio increases. As the side length decreases by a factor of 10, the surface area to volume ratio will increase by a factor of 10. And this large surface area to volume ratio is what gives us our interesting properties of nanoparticles. Because they will have different properties to the large versions. Nanoparticles of silver will have different properties to silver that you might see in a silver bracelet. And this is due to the high surface area to volume ratio. You will also need less to be effective, potentially making it more economical. Nanoparticles have a wide range of uses. They can be used in sun creams or deodorants, medicines, electronics, and even in catalysts. Some of the advantages are that the small particles can be absorbed better. This is relevant for things like sun cream, deodorants, potentially medicines. An advantage for catalysts is that you can catalyse the reactions more efficiently. Because they are so small and they sink in, they can be invisible. You can have a film over something. For example, silver nanoparticles can be used as an antibacterial film on kitchen surfaces. Whereas it wouldn't be realistic to coat kitchen surfaces with a layer of non-nano silver because that would be very expensive and would look slightly strange. The disadvantages are that the long-term effects of this are unknown. Because they sink in, because they are invisible effectively, they can be difficult to see. So you might miss somewhere where you are applying sunscreen or if you have a coating of something, you won't see when it wears off. In the exam, the sort of question you're going to see are an advantages, disadvantages question using data given to you in a question. So if the question is about sunscreen, don't start talking about catalysts because you're not answering the question. Look at the data, look at the information, potentially in the wordy question that's been given, and use your knowledge to apply to new situations. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.